Hey drivers, it's Brian Reynolds, the Director of Safety for Reliance Partners. I want to take this opportunity uh, to tell everybody to be safe out there and we've got some winter driving tips when it comes to tire chaining that we wanted to throw your way. Uh, I spent much of my career up in the Pacific Northwest running the mountains and it's some of the beautiful, most beautiful country but it's also some of the most challenging driving conditions. So these chaining tips, I know there's a ton of them out there but we wanted to take you, give you an opportunity to, to look at ours and the, the difference with, with mine is you're not moving the truck in any way. So take a look and we'll come back and talk about it. I want to thank the guys here at Tranco Logistics here in Chattanooga for letting me use their equipment and I get to play with trucks every once in a while so it's a lot of fun. I just want to go through the whole process all together and this is kind of what it looks like. You get the chain up over, I'm trying to keep it straight as much as possible. A key here as we showed in the pictures we want this last cross link to be up against the ground. So I'm not quite there yet. I'm going to shift the chain down a little bit. That got me there. I've got a little too much here. I went too far. So we're going to slide it back a little bit. That should be about right. Yep, we're in good shape there. So the chain's all the way over the tire. Now we want to take our fifth wheel puller, lay it in between the tires. Take the links on the back side of the chain, loop it over the fifth wheel hook, kind of push it through, but we got to give her some slack. So we're going to look, bring that piece of the chain back off. That gives us enough leeway to pull it through. The back hook on this particular chain is going to go in the second link, going to come up underneath it. So we, we found that out from the, the, steel, the steel shots. So now we can bring the chain back around the tire, making sure that we've got two things. One, we wanna make sure our cross links are straight, and we wanna make sure that we're even on both sides with the rails. So everything looks straight. Now we can hook the front. The front, Yeah, let's see if we can get this link. We might be able to get it, we might, might, we might not. We got it, okay. So we got a, good, got a good bunch on the front in the fourth link there. Now we wanna take our key, starting at the bottom and working towards the top. The reason for that, if you don't have any leverage down here to tighten this, if that's the last one you tighten. So we got the top, now we're gonna work our way up that's where all of our strength is going to be. Got that one. We got that one. That one snapped in nice. And now this one's probably going to be nice and difficult. Get a little more leverage this way. And that thing is tight. That chain is not budging. We didn't move the truck. We didn't drop the trailer. We didn't do anything. Last thing we want to do is put a couple bungee cords on this. One, to make sure this link isn't slapping on the ground. Make sure that your hook faces outwards. Just like on the chain, all the hooks are facing outwards. Over the side, over the side. Now if these links, if these cams have been faced the other way, I run my, my bungee cord through the lane through the cam that way it'll keep the cam from coming undone but it's on there like I said that, that one is not going anywhere probably the most important thing to putting chains on is taking the chains off when you take them off take the time to get everything apart put away and where you need them for next time so after we pop these loose, get them unhooked. Once again, we, you never get as lucky to have your hooks on the bottom, so it might take a little maneuver to get the hooks where you want them. But after you got them taken apart, instead of wadding the chain back up and throwing it in the side box, Take, a couple, take an extra bit, 
lay it back out. Big reason for laying it back out, one, it's gonna keep it from being twisted. Two, you can check for damage. That way if you need to get a new chain or get one repaired before the next time you have to use it, you'll have it done. Now picking them up and putting them away, there's a really a right way and a wrong way to do that too. The right way, start on the side with the spare links, pick one, skip one. Pick up every other cross link. And once they're picked up, they're in a bundle. If you've got a chain hanger, none of them are gonna hit the ground. And if you're gonna just throw, put them in the side box, you got your bungee cords, wrap them up with a bungee cord. And when you go to lay them back out for the next time, you start on the side with, with your hooks. Start on the side with the hooks, and it'll just lay it right back out again. It won't be twisted. It'll be ready to go. You, you've already checked for damage, and everything should be fine. So what'd you think? We didn't have to move the truck. We got the chain installed. And yeah, we still gotta do it five more times depending on what chain law is, or what state you're in, and what chain law is being enacted at that time. But the, the other cool thing about this is it can get you out of a parking place. It can get you out of a dock uh, where you don't have the availability to move the truck to put the chain on. So we've supplied a couple links, uh, one with the different state's chain laws and one with still photos of the process. If you wanna look at one particular piece of it, follow that link below. Check us out at reliancepartners.com, freightwaves.com, and then please leave comments or questions below. I'll take a look at them and, and be happy to get back to you. Thanks, y'all be safe.